We work by the Colonia 24 de Mayo area in the buffer zone of the Yanganatis National Park. This area is situated within the first ecological corridor created in Ecuador, which joins the Sangai and the Yanganatis National Parks. It's one of the most biodiverse places on Earth, but yet a little known area. Since we've been here, we've only been able to peek at whatever passes by, and already we've listed nearly 100 bird species. We've seen many animals, including anteaters, coatis, armadillos, saddleback tamarins, and we've seen various species of very interesting snakes and lizards. Well, there's birds, there's, there's the obvious birds that people would be interested in, like the, the parrots. There's lots of parrots which I see daily. Toucans I see every day, so you've got four species of toucans. And there's the a new species which is just that I've just spotted in the area, which is the, the green military macaw, which is really scarce. So that's very exciting to see those flying over above my head. But there's also interesting birds which are a bit more shy. The cock of the rock, the Amazon umbrella bird, which is another scarce bird. But there's all mm -hmm. kinds of, of birds with strange behaviours. Mm -hmm. Well, camera traps would be ideal for us because there's obviously lots of mammals around lots of them move around at night and so I might find tracks I might find burrows and you have mm -hmm. to take a guess at what might be there so and there's obviously other things that you never see never hear that you can catch on a camera so it doesn't matter what you're interested in if you're interested in birds mammals, reptiles, amphibians, flowers, trees, everything's here and it's one of the most biodiverse parts of the world, never mind Ecuador. Mm -hmm. As well as that then we've got these small open areas which is close to the, the access road which we have which, could, which we need to reforest mm -hmm. and of course if there's any constructions going on, the clinic, the quarantine, toilets, anything that could be going on, then of course, mm -hmm. any help is uh, welcome. As a non-profit organization, we rely heavily on donations to carry on our work. At the moment, we're trying hard to get hold of better research equipment, such as camera traps, binoculars, GPS receivers, books. If you're able to contribute by making a donation, please do. Every little bit helps. You can make donations and learn more about our work through our Give and Gain donation page. Any other information about volunteering, donating supplies and equipment, please visit our website and Facebook page. And, of course, we welcome any comments and suggestions.